Good morning, everyone. PG Jell Films here back again, and today we're going to be playing All Over Me. Now, before I just get started, I'm just going to get straight into it. What this game is basically about is it's just the devs' friends' short stories in their last ever farewell notes. And also, the same guys who made the eyes, My Eyes to See, well, the Roblox port version, of course. So, yeah, I wanted to start the intro with a disclaimer just in case if there are any, like, sensitive images or epilepsy warnings. Controls? Really? All right, what's it going to give us? Oh, I guess there's already a warning there. <laughs> I thought the disclaimer was. The world has vanished into nothing but whiteness. Lifeless it seems, no towns or creatures were on sight, only dead trees. What feels alive, however, is the battle between my car and the storm. I can hear the solidity of flakes rapidly launching at my car's body. In a few matter of seconds to spare my car's wipers, snow has entirely covered my windows again. Maybe it's time to accept defeat. Ooh, that's pretty dark. I don't know where this is going, but it's a trip down to depression. Maybe it's time to accept defeat. My teeth rapidly chatters as I get chills all over. My hands on the wheels are already numb and dull of pain. My lungs are giving up as I feel sharp pains from each cold breath. My body has been enough wind and just wants to give up. So I let loose my weak grip on the wheel. So I let loose my weak grip on the wheel. Right away, my car starts losing friction with the icy road already, already aware that I might not have a chance to survive this. As the car sends itself into a downward spiral, I cherish my final hours as I hug myself and close my eyes. The car flips and throws itself into a somewhat large pit. Life has to end like this, or does it? As I whined about my pain and the injuries of pieces sticking on me, there are sudden sounds. What sounds? Sudden sounds that sound unnatural, unlike the breezing wind. Indeed, unlike the breezing wind. Those were footsteps, for God's sake. As my visions start to blur, starting to blur out, they started to drag me out of the crash scene. I want to ask them something, but I cannot blurt out any word with such weakness. So I take it for granted, but I still want to ask myself, is death real? Man, that's dark. Oh, and the screen turns black as we focus on the quote, is death real? That's a deep quote. I agree, if I say so myself. I feel cold, but I'm familiarized with this freezing floor already. I don't know how long I was knocked out, but I'm darn sure that I'm still alive. Sorry to interrupt with this stuff, just checking on everything. I still doubt that they are actual good people. Who even lives in the middle of a snowfield? A snowfield filled with furious snowstorms to find a random person who's supposed to be buried in the snow. I decide to stand up and check out my surroundings. Huh. Screen aspect ratio is the same as my eyes deceive. Pills? They look like Tic Tacs. <laughs> they are Tic Tacs! I'm still unsure about this candy box. I need to check out the speaker first. Alright, well... What does the speaker have to give to us? The speaker is looping a voice clip. I took a closer listen. Welcome and good morning, demented some human being. Hmm? Not liking your room already? Well, that doesn't matter, because you are invited here today to experience the recollection phenomena. As the name suggests, you will get to have a perfectly happy nostalgia about everyone, everything, and everywhere. 
including yourself. Hey, you hardly even deserve to use these medicines, so use it at your own best. Each day, each medicine will bring you a different experience, a different experience that will disclose you different things. Once in a lifetime, so please cherish every moment. That's all for now. Happy dreaming. And of course, don't wet yourself while dreaming. Heh. <laughs> I see. The guy or gal or non-binary <laughs> non has got a sense of humor. <laughs> we gotta take these. A candy-like medicine box, or what they call the recollection phenomena. <laughs> because you cannot show pills in Roblox, so that you have to show Tic Tacs. <laughs> I'm just gonna take one. I'm just gonna take one and see what happens because we gotta keep this going, man. We gotta keep this video going. A kid's complex wasn't that complex because it was my childhood. I used to live in a worn down apartment with my family and that family was solely my mother. Every day was bland and I could do nothing but eat, learn, and sleep. But every day was not every day. It was that final season. That there was great fondness. Nice. Get set. The beauty of nature is close. Each coldest seasoning with great tranquility. Each bird sit brooding in the snow. Each snow angels devoting little relish. Each snow men removing bits of outcast. And yet, Winter just comes and goes. It's like a poem. A dark poem. Winter is a melancholic being. It sleeps through its sorrow as early as possible. It storms the sheds of miserable tears of nature. It suffers the worst demise as the sun melts its entirety. It needs help, and yet pushes everything to their shelters. It feels solitude but it chooses to wallow in there. Sometimes, winter just needs a warm hug. This is very deep. I actually like this. It's like not really an entertaining game, it's more like a poem game. I, I really like this a lot. Alright, what are we here for? What is this? An old newspaper from the 90s. My mother, my mother always read, read one every early morning enjoying her sweet tea. This one appears to mention something about a young girl who escaped from a basement after being in prison for almost 10 Oh my goodness. No, don't show that. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that one. <laughs> it's the My Eyes Deceive one. Alright, what's this? I remember every time how I got so excited when winter arrives. When I finally saw the freckles of snow on the kitchen window again, I started to jump on my bed like a trampoline, and wishing and praying that winter will stay snowing forever. But it was not possible, and did not last. Silly childhood soon has to learn the hard way of life in nature. Nice. I see this guy is the, the person we're playing. is very poetic and mature. person's got a future ahead of them. What is this? The bathroom door is locked. Okay. Well, what about this door? Ah, yes, the bedroom. Look at that. Anything interactable in here? I suppose? No, not really. What about bookshelf? No, not really. Well, might as well go back and see what this door is. Oh. So this is who the character we're playing as. It's very interesting. Can we go through this door? No, can we go through this door? Okay, well I guess we can't. Who even are we anyways? Hmm. Interesting. Why are we even brought here to begin with? What's the point of these shoes if we don't have any feet? <laughs> What's over here? Okay, so yeah, this is obviously an apartment complex. Oh. I actually like that a lot. The doorknob is jammed for some reason. Okay. Well, what's down here? Uh, obviously, we can't go through that door because, actually, I want to check every door just in case. Can we check this door? Yeah, it's it's still jammed. Alright, well, in that case, I'm just going to keep going down. Uh, like, nothing's happened. 
I can see the lockers. What's over here? Let's check it out. We're gonna experience winter once again. You know, my favorite seasons are winter and summer. An older's complex feels different because the mind itself is a complex now. I continue to survive in that worn down apartment with my lone family. Every day was bland and I could do nothing but eat and sleep. But every day was not every day. It was that final season. That there was great contemplation. Very interesting. Tell me, Winter, what are you really hiding away? Below those snow, is there really just snow? Or is there some kind of sick play? Oh, Winter, tell me. Oh, Winter, 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 you're so cool. We are the same, Winter. We bury our sorrows with thick tears. We struggle with the definition of truth. We with our own sun, slowly burning us out. We reject anything but our own self-rejection. I have become my own winter. Very interesting. I see. That one held out for pretty long. I see. First person gameplay. Oh, look at that. What is that supposed to be? But hey, that's pretty interesting. Okay, well, what are we walking here? More hallways, more stuff. What does this lead to? Okay, well, absolute darkness. I guess we can't go that way. What's over here? Can we check this out? Can we go through one of the doors? One of the rooms? No, I don't think so. Hey, what's this over here? I see a paper. It says... I can't even understand that. Can anybody translate that for me in the comment section below? Why, thank you. I would really appreciate that. Oof, man. Imagine Piggy looked like this. Actually, for people who have short attention span, I don't think they would have, they would not realize how good the building here actually is. People loved the simplicity of Piggy before Piggy Book 2, so it made sense. Okay, well, I wonder what's over here. Maybe it's letting us go in here, right? Ooh, alright, well, this is a pretty dark hallway. Well, might as well walk to whatever this part is. Let's go and keep on walking then. Hmm. Interesting. It's like, is that a book in the distance? No, it looks like a paper. Pencil with ink. Wait, what is that? I am now about to make the great adventure. I cannot endure this agonizing pain any longer. It is all over my body. Neither can I face the impending blindness. I pray the Lord my soul to take. Amen. Hmm. Conclusion for the death of Katerina. Cerebral hypoxia due to... I don't know what that says. I miss you, mother. Oh, goodness. Man. <laughs> Recollection, Recollection Phenomena Award. Not bad, not bad at all. What's this part? Huh, hi, may I ask if this is a mental crisis hotline? Huh. Um. What's this? Wait.
search underway for missing girl kidnapped. Three days ago, a community is on edge as the search intensifies for a young girl who was kidnapped three days ago and remains missing. Law enforcement agencies and concerned citizens have rallied together in a desperate effort to locate the girl and bring her home safely. The girl, identified as Katie, 15, was last seen three days ago when she was reportedly abducted from Houston. The circumstances surrounding her disappearance have sent shockwaves through the community, leaving friends, family, and neighbors anxiously awaiting any updates on her whereabouts. Authorities have launched a full-scale investigation, establishing a dedicated task force to coordinate search Search and rescue teams, including K-9 units, drones, and helicopters, have been deployed to comb through nearby areas, including woods, parks, and abandoned buildings. Investigators are meticulously examining surveillance footage, interviewing witnesses, and pursuing any leads that may provide crucial information about the girl's abduction.
Uh. Okay, I'll just. What's the exit? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, why? Why are they hung like that? Oh my goodness, there's more? What? That's it? Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. It was, uh... Yeah, I was not expecting that. I gotta see the... The game description again. Different stories combined to one game, I see. Okay. <laughs>